Well, welcome back to the channel, my friends. I don't often browse Hacker One much anymore, but I was recently on there reading some write ups, and can you imagine? People are still finding and reporting the Cisco path traversal vulnerability from 2020. So I was bored and wondered if I could find and report this again too. And believe it or not, it only took me a few minutes to land the bug. But anyway, that's a story for a different day. In this video, we're going to dive into some bash scripting because I was reading another write up the bug bounty hunter mentioned he was poking around on this sensor cider domain range looking for Cisco devices. And I too like to look for Cisco devices on the Department of Defense scope. So this got me to thinking instead of hunting on one cider block, can I pull all the cider ranges? of the Department of Defense into a bash script and resolve them to domain names using NSLOOKUP. Well, my friends, if that recon was possible, you're on the right YouTube channel to see it happen because it is possible. And this bash script will resolve 3 million IP addresses scoped to the Department of Defense. And here's why that's important. If you've ever used Shodan or Hunter.how, some other recon platform, you know how tough it is to find valuable assets. And the DOD has an extremely large digital footprint and identifying all possible domains and IP addresses can reveal a ton of secret information. Now by automating this task, we can save hours, yet days of manual labor. So here's the secret breakdown of the script and why it's a game changer. Hello. For this bash script to work, Secret Letters first compiled a comprehensive list of Department of Defense IP ranges. This ensures that the scope of the target is both broad and relevant, covering over 50 different IP ranges. Next, he focused on output management by creating and managing an output file. This file stores all resolved domain names, keeping the results organized and easily accessible. Then Secret Letters implemented the count IP function to calculate the total number of IPs to be resolved. This function provided a clear target count and scope of work, revealing a total of almost 3.8 million potential targets. Following that, Secret Letters utilize the Resolve IP function, which uses NSLOOKUP to resolve each IP address to a domain name. This step is essential for mapping IPs to real-world domains. To enhance efficiency, he employed concurrency allowing multiple IP addresses to be resolved simultaneously. This method resolves 10 IPs at once, significantly speeding up the process. Finally, Secret Letters included a progress tracking feature. This feature displays the number of resolved IPs out of the total, providing real-time updates and ensuring that progress is always visible. The benchmarks of this bash script include comprehensive reconnaissance, efficiency, asset discovery, and a foundation for further bug bounty analysis. Now imagine all the possibilities with this bash script. You can identify and catalog an immense number of assets in a fraction of the time it would take you manually. And this is just the beginning. So thanks for watching and join me if you dare on this journey and let's continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in cybersecurity. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm also on that journey of the CISM exam. Stay tuned and find out if I pass or fail that cybersecurity certification. Hopefully I don't fail. That'd be kind of embarrassing.